Good evening, everyone. Part three of the infinitives and how to use them in very simple sentences. So verbs that are used with pronouns or nouns and an infinite. Read the examples and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. So there are tables, table one, verbs plus pronouns or nouns and infinitives with two. Now, take a look at the first sentence, advice. Advise something or somebody to do something. The doctor advised her. Her is a pronoun. Verb plus a pronoun and then an infinitive. The doctor advised her to take this medicine. The doctor advised her to take this medicine. The second sentence, allow. He allowed me He allowed me to use the, his computer. Allowed me, me is a pronoun. He allowed me to use his computer. There you see the pronoun and the infinitive to. He allowed me to use his computer. Ask. Mother asked us to help her. Mother asked us to help her. Us, a pronoun, and an infinitive, to help. The next sentence, beg. They begged us to let them go to the party. Beg, kya matlab hota hai? To request, to repeatedly request, agra. They begged us to let them go to the party. The next sentence, cause. Her laziness, her laziness caused her to fail the exam, fail in the class. Her laziness, now we here we start with the pronoun, her. Her laziness caused her to fail in the exam. The next sentence, challenge. He challenged me to raise him to the corner. It means he challenged me that you cannot run faster than me. So he challenged me to do what? To raise him to the corner. Command. Rick commanded the dogs to sit. Kya command kya? Kya order diya usne dogs ko? Rick, a person's name. Rick commanded the dogs to sit. Now here verb plus a noun. Rick commanded the dogs. A dog is a noun. Rick commanded the dogs to, to do what? To, to sit. The next word, convince. I could not convince her to accept the money. It means I did not, I could not convince her. 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 I couldn't convince her to accept the money. The next word is dare. She dared me to do better than she had done. Matlab usne challenge lagaya. She dared me to do better than she had done. Matlab, humne jo kiya hai, tum usse behtar karo. She challenged me or she dared me. She dared me to do better than she had done. The next word is encourage. My parents always encouraged me to do my school, to, my, to do my B school. It means my parents always encouraged me to do better in my school. My parents always encouraged me to do well in my school. The next word is expect. 
I expect you to be on time. Okay. I expect you. मैं उम्मीद करती हूँ कि तुम टाइम पे आओगे. I expect you to be on time. Forbid. Forbid is a word which means मना करना. तो चीज मना है. It is forbidden. Forbid मना करना. I forbid you to tell her. मैंने मना किया है कि आप कोई बात कोई भी बात उसको ना कहें. I forbid her to use the laptop. Forbid, forbidding, forbade. Then verbs can be used in any form. Force. She forced me to tell her the truth. She forced me to to do what? To tell her the truth. Get. We couldn't get him to stop. Whatever he was doing, हम लोग उसको रोक नहीं पाए. We couldn't get him to stop. Somebody was fighting. कोई झगड़ा कर रहा था. आप उसको रोक नहीं पाए. तो क्या कहेंगे आप? We couldn't get him to stop. Hate. I would hate you to spend the best years of your life doing that. It means जो कुछ भी आप कर रहे हैं. Supposing you're doing anything wrong. So I would really hate you. क्या आप मत करिए ऐसा. Don't spend your life doing this thing which is not good for you. So hate. I I hate you. मतलब आप अगर झूठ बोल रहे हैं, अगर आप चीटिंग कर रहे हैं, आप अगर क्लास बंग कर रहे हैं आप, कोई ऐसी कोई बात कर रहे हैं जो आपको नहीं करनी चाहिए, तो आपके एल्डर्स या आपके गुड फ्रेंड्स क्या कहेंगे आपको? That they would really hate you. अगर तुम करते रहोगे तो दिस इज नॉट समथिंग गुड सो आई वुड रियली हेट यू टू स्पेंड द रेस्ट ऑफ योर इयर्स रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ डूइंग दैट द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज हेल्प आई हेल्प एन ओल्ड लेडी नाउ हियर इज अ वर्ब एंड अ नाउन आई हेल्प एन ओल्ड लेडी टू कैरी हर बैग्स इन टू द हाउस I helped an old lady to carry her bags into the house. Instruct. Instruct. किसी को instructions देना. Miss Mrs. Reed instructed us to read the text twice. Now, Miss Miss Reed is a class teacher, maybe. उसने क्या इंस्ट्रक्ट किया कि आपने आपको वो टेक्स्ट दोबारा पढ़ना है मिसिज रीड इंस्ट्रक्टेड अस टू रीड द टेक्स्ट ट्वाइस इंटेंड इंटेंशन मंशा किसी के मन की मंशा डिड यू इंटेंड मी टू यूज दिस रिसोर्स फॉर योर रिपोर्ट क्या तुम उम्मीद किए थे कि मैं इस रिसोर्स को यूज करूं रिपोर्ट के लिए डिड यू इंटेंड व्हाट वाज माय इंटेंशन माय इंटेंशन वाज टू यूज दिस रिसोर्स इनवाइट आई इनवाइटेड तानिया टू कम टू माय बर्थडे पार्टी नो आई इनवाइटेड प्लस अ नाउ ना तानिया इज अ प्रॉपर नाउ आई इनवाइटेड तानिया टू कम टू माय बर्थडे पार्टी लीव I think we should leave her to rest. It means it is getting late. You have gone to see somebody who is not feeling well, who is not, who is unwell in the hospital. So, आप क्या कहते हैं? I think we should leave her so that the person can take rest. I think we should leave her to rest. Like, I like my coffee to be hot. It means you like to drink hot coffee. What did you? What do you like? I like my coffee to be hot. The next sentence. Mean. मतलब मैंने ये mean नहीं किया. मैं मेरी या मेरे ये इरादा नहीं था. मैंने I did not mean this. मेरा मतलब ये नहीं था. I didn't mean her to read this book by tomorrow. मैंने कहा था पढ़ लो मैंने ये नहीं कहा था कि सारा पूरी किताब कल पढ़ लो आई डिड नॉट मीन दिस आई डिडेंट मीन हर टू रीड दिस बुक बाय टुमारो 
The next word is need. We need dad to help us fix the bicycle. We need our father to help us fix this bicycle. Fix this bicycle means to fix it. To, to fix it means to something is not working, to mend it, to repair it, to fix it. Oblige. The circumstances obliged him to be careful about his health. No circumstances were there. It was obliged. It was obliged that now he was more careful about his health. It means he was thankful to the circumstances, to the situation in life, which has made him realize this, that he should be careful about his health. Order. The police ordered the driver to stop. The police ordered whom? The driver. Here there's no two, the two as it is at the end. You see the structure. The police ordered the driver to stop. The next word is permit. She permitted the children to stay up late. She permitted the children. She permitted the children to stay up late. Persuade to request. Agra request. I persuaded Mary to write an apology. Apology kya hota? Ek maafi nama. It means aapne request kya is us ladki Mary ko ki tum ek apology liko tum ek maafi nama liko ki tumne tumse koi galti ho gai hai. Just write and say sorry about it. Apologize, write an apology. Maafi maang lini chahiye, whatever. Prefer or would prefer. I would prefer you to come alone. Supposing you, you are required to come alone or you are friend, so what do you One by one, come one, come one by one. So I would prefer that you come alone. If you don't want to do something, we want you to stay with me. So what do we say to you? I'll tell you, I, I would prefer you come alone. The next word is recommend. Recommend karna, to refer, to refer something, someone. The doctor recommended to stay at home. Oh, koi hai. Doctor ne kya recommend kya? Kuch medicines diya, kuch advice karenge usko. So the doctor recommended me to stay at home for two days. If I'm not well, if I go and meet the doctor, what will he say? Okay. You're, you'll be fine in two days. So I recommend that you stay at home for two days. Or two days later, you can go back to work. So the doctor recommended me to stay at home for two days. The next word is remind. He reminded me to lock the door. Maybe, maybe... Somebody is very forgetful, kisi ko bhulne ki aadat hai. To usko remind kya jata hai ki, please don't forget to lock the door. So he reminded me to lock the door. The next word is require. Our teacher requires us to be on time. Darkar ye hai ki hum log samay pe rahe, samay pe aayin. Our teacher requires us to be on time. Request. Okay. My family requested you to stay with us. Okay. My family requested you to stay with us. Maybe your friend is coming. Maybe your friend has come to you. And so your family requested that person, that friend, to yes, it is getting late. So why don't you stay with us? My family requested you to stay with us. The next word is teach. 
My brother taught me how to swim. Here it is a straight pronoun. My family requested you. Requested is a verb, you is a pronoun. Requested you to stay with us. The next also is a pro pronoun, verb followed, followed by a pronoun. My brother taught me how to swim. Chell. Mother told me to be home by 10. Mother ne kya kaha? Mother told me, told to me kabhi ni. Mother told me to be home by 10. It means do not be, do not stay outside late, but be back home by 10. Tempt. Tempt ka matlab hota hai to attract someone to softly attract someone to do something tempting. Curiosity tempted me to ask her about, ask her about her husband. Okay. I was very curious to know about her husband. So I was tempted. So curiosity. Curiosity. Jigyasa. Tempted me to ask her about her husband. Trouble. Trouble ka matlab, yaha par matlab hota hai, Catherine, may I trouble you to continue reading? So kya mein aapko agra kar sakti hoon? Can I, can I trouble you to, can I ask you to continue reading? Yaha trouble ka matlab, ask you yourself. May I ask you to continue reading? Urge. Urge means a strong desire. Tej koi khayish hoti hai. Aapka dil bhoat kuch cha hai. In summers you have an urge for ice cream. I urged her to apply for the job. It means I strongly told her to apply for a job. I urged her. Right? And urge also is a strong desire. Tej khayish ho rahi hai. Ki aap, aise aap thande mein aap you would like to go home. You urge to go home. There's an urge to be home in the warmth of your bedroom. But then urge here means to request. The next is would like. I would like you to be my friend. I would like you to be my friend. It means I want you to be my friend. Now there's table two and we'll just quickly read through the sentences. Let. I just want to let you know that I'm here if you need me. Mujhe aapko ye batana hai that I am here, jab bhi aapko zarurat hogi, then I am there for you. Mujhe aapko ye batana I want you to know this. Ke main yahi par hu or anytime you need me, aap humko bula sakte hai. So I just want, I just want to let you know that I am here if you need me. Make. The teacher made me stay after class for a conversation. She made me stay. Matlab, usne ne kaha ki aap ruko, aap te kuch baat karni hai. Kis ne? Teacher ne. The teacher made me stay after class for a conversation. Koi kuch baat karni ke liye. Help. I can help you solve this problem. I can help you solve this problem. Yahan par koi infinitive kahi nahi hai. You see here. I just want to let you know that I am here if you need me. And the teacher made me stay after class for a conversation. There is no two over here. Kahi par two yahan par nahi hai. The next word is I can help you. I can help you solve this problem. The two here is not required. Matlab, aapko hi mein madar kar sakti hoon is problem ko solve karne mein. Here, I heard him make arrangements for, the, for his journey. Yaha pe koi two nahi hai. I heard him 
make arrangements for his journey. See, he saw dad leave the house. Usne dekha ki uske father ghar se bahar ja rahe the. There is no two over here. Feel. Lily felt her heart squeeze. Heart squeeze ka matlab hota hai ki kahin usko bahut takleef hui. Kahin usko chhatka laga. She usko shock hua. Uska heart squeeze kiya. Matlab skipped a beat ka matlab bhi bhai hota hai. She felt her heart squeeze when she saw her mother going. Watch. I stood in the waiting room and watched them. यहाँ पर कहीं भी two नहीं है. This was the last sentence. I watched her. I stood in the wait. I stood in the waiting room and watched them. मतलब मैं waiting room में मैं waiting room से उनको I watched him. I watched him. उनको देखा. I stood in the waiting room. मैं waiting room में खड़ा था और या खड़ी थी. And unhe dekha. Here there is no and watch them leave. Main waiting room mein khade ho kar ke unhe jate huye maine dekha. There is no two over here. I stood in the waiting room and watch them leave. Now what I want you to do? Go back and count these sentences. Read them aloud. And make your own sentences. If you want to speak really good, you have to practice a lot. So practice makes you perfect. The sentences are the, these sample sentences will help you. Read them as I am reading them. Read them. Repeat with me and make your own sentences. Be creative. That's all for today. Take care.